Cooter, where's my Gatorade? He's being the safe. What's the combo? I wrote it on a piece of paper and put it in the safe. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today, we have a safe, and we're gonna pretend that Cooter has locked my Gatorade inside of it, and we do not have a combination. So the only way to open it is by shooting it open. Just got some Walker Razor earmuffs. They are regular earmuffs, except they have microphones in them, so I can hear everything normally, except it'll quiet down gunshots, which is pretty cool. I have this safe turned sideways first. I just want to see if a 22 long rifle will even go through the metal. Did go through the outside layer, and there's our bullet right there. So it came through, hit the wall over there, and drop down. Will a nine millimeter hollow point out of the CZ Scorpion do the same thing? It knocked off less paint on the outside, which is kind of interesting. I assume it's because the nine millimeter is going faster, so it just punched through instead of slowly bending the metal and knocking all that paint off. And nine millimeter went through the backside even with these holes here, we're not even close to getting into the safe yet to get whatever valuables there are out of it. So maybe we should turn it around and start working on the front side. These four bars here, I have marked on the front exactly where they are. So just in case I end up locking this thing to where I can't open anymore, I will know where they are. So these are the points I need to shoot at. So I sort of have an advantage over a bad guy who breaks in. He wouldn't necessarily know where he needs to be working on with his gun. So this is best case scenario for getting this thing open. Nine millimeters are good, but how about the 44 Magnum? I thought these hinges were gonna be a little tougher than this. 44 went straight through this hinge here and down into the safe door. Straight through it, I mean, look at that. But, did nothing for getting us closer to getting in. I was aiming for higher, trying to hit this little rod here, and I just missed it. Let's try it again. Dang it, I just missed it again. Right on the left side of it this time, but this one probably went into the interior of the door a little bit. Wow, a little dusty in there. I don't feel like breathing all that. I can see that it went out the back. Oh no, it stopped. That's our 44 Magnum right there just stopped. Barely missed my Gatorade somehow. This hinge, the way it's set up, is really strong on this part and is hollow over here for the rods to pass through. So that's why that one went straight through. This one hit right here on the hard solid metal, skimmed off, went into the door, and jammed it shut. It is totally locked down now. So if I want that Gatorade, I'm gonna have to shoot it out of here. No messing around anymore. 500 Magnum. 350 grains of fury going at nearly 2,000 feet per second. I'm gonna aim center of the door. Maybe try to hit the little turn wheel. Ow. Straight through the wheel. Still turns. Did it come out the back? It did. <laughs> so here's your difference. 44 Magnum, okay. 500 Magnum. Giant hole. I don't even know if this safe slowed that thing down. 4570 out of this Henry all weather. You can see it smoking actually out of this hole. It came in here and then went down here and exploded the side out of this thing. Hmm, I wonder. Nope, still got a hard metal on the inside there. So we're not really close to getting my Gatorade out yet. And I am so thirsty. This time, we're shooting some extreme penetrators. These are from Underwood Ammo. This is a ridiculous cartridge with a ridiculous bullet. It shoots these solid brass bullets, which are designed to hit hard and penetrate deep. I love this because this shows you exactly how much more powerful certain rounds are. The 44 Magnum, remember, hit right here on that solid metal part and just deflected off. The 4570 hit right there and went straight through. It just kept on going. I don't know if it went through all the way. That is our 4570 coming out the back there. Extreme penetrated the whole thing. Wow, look at the bend in this. 
that door is taking some damage for sure. 556 out of an AR-15 does not have nearly the power that a 4570 does, but it's really good at punching holes in metal. Straight through the solid metal part, but it made such a tiny hole that it really didn't do anything. Let's focus that AR-15 over on these bars. I haven't even shot that side yet. We'll see what it does. Sometimes I forget my AR is sighted in for like longer range, like not 15 yards. So I need to aim about right here and then maybe I'll hit that bar. The door is actually popped out a little bit. It's still solid and stuck and not going anywhere, but I may have broken off that rod going through there. 762 by 39, also very good at penetrating metal. Shooting out of my Century RH10 AK. It looks like I need to aim up a little bit. I hit it right underneath it. Wah! Dun da da da! Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Whew. It actually worked. So, even though I thought I was hitting a little low and they were coming out here, one of them did take out that metal rod. Looks like it was smacked right there and just broken off. And these over here didn't even need to be broken loose. Um, because the hinge apparently still works, even though it's all bent up. And here's my Gatorade, safe and sound. <laughs> I brought bigger guns to shoot at this safe, thinking that I would need them. I guess I'll just pack them up and take them home. Just kidding, we're still totally gonna shoot them. 12 gauge shotgun, this is some high brass bird shot. Some double lot buck shot and a Magnum one ounce slug. Yow, that one kicks. Woo! Shotguns are awesome. Birdshot everywhere. Buckshot was kind of centered high, up there, up there, over here, some through here. Looks like the slug went through right there. Gosh, this is a mess. Knocked all of our gears and hardware off with that shotgun. Not too shabby. 338 Lapua Magnum out of my Armalite AR-30A1. Love this rifle. Got the big Vortex scope on it. Also have a radius range finder, gun mounted. Very cool setup here for long range. We're shooting it at close range, cause that's how we roll. That bullet missed the hinge. It was aiming here. It hit about three inches low and then continued through the entire wall of the safe, coming out right here, exploding the side of this safe, exploding the back, and then continuing through the wood on the table. That's a lot of power. We're gonna aim three inches higher now. Yep, that'll do it. Came in right here, totally exploded our hinge. Now our door is very wobbly. Man, what a wreck. Looks like we got one hinge left. The 338 is a big bullet and a big cartridge, but it feels a little weird saying it's a big bullet when you're about to shoot a 50 BMG. That is a big one. One hinge left. This gun. This episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Audible has audiobooks. I'm currently reading Gates of Fire by Stephen Pressfield. If you've seen the movie 300, it's basically like that. It's 300 Spartan warriors defending against an invading like million person Persian army. And it's pretty awesome. If you use my code right here, you get a free 30 day trial where you can download that book or any of their other 180,000 titles. And it goes to support what we do at Demolition Ranch. I don't really know where the bullet went. I assume it came through here and then started bending its course and came out the side, but we'll never know. This is my kind of video where I get to shoot big guns and break stuff. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for being here. If you did like it, subscribe. We do similar experiments every week. That means you'll like them too. I have worked really hard on this, so I'm gonna go reward myself, go hang out, sit by the creek, drink myself a nice dusty Gatorade. I'll see you guys next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hawk?
Bobby. I'm a doctor. Ish.